really may not seem like a likely pair. Smoke and scripture. Well, one local man is making it his mission to sell some Christian spiritual discussion along with cigars at a San Marcos smoke shop. Amazing grace. Y'all sing with me. How sweet the sound. Here at Holy Smokes, it's not just tobacco talk. These friends, new and old, are sharing a hymn. Like me. Every Monday, it's an evening of smokes and scripture. Jesus kind of laughingly responds, says, don't, don't be afraid from now on, you'll be fishing for men. It's a Bible study with cigars, crosses hung between boxes of boutique smokes. How do you blend this with your spirituality? Yeah, I guess some people would see them as contrasting, and, and I don't at all. Men are by nature kind of poor communicators, but you put a cigar in their mouth and they start talking like girls. And, uh, and so it, it brings men together and gives us the opportunity to, to, to enter into the more important and spiritual matters of life. In comfy chairs, Holy Smokes is a sort of safe place, away from the everyday stresses of life, giving these guys a chance to loosen up and light up their love of the word, and of course, the cigars. They just give you something to talk around. It's kind of like a bonfire, something that's slow, and you can just take your time and enjoy it. The real nitty gritty part of it is, how does it apply to our lives? Who? are we, where do we live, and, and how do we need more of God, and how can we encourage each other? It's all about the fellowship here, as these men gather for a stogie. Jesus reaches out his hand, he touches the man. And some scripture read from their cell phones. We believe that God has given us everything, okay? And so cigars are a way to enjoy the things that God has given us, and it, fun, it's enjoyable, it's not something to be condemned. Those that don't want to come smoke cigars, you know, we, they don't have to come smoke cigars. And Jesus stretched out his hand and touched. Owner Mo Leverett says his passion for his faith runs deep. He ran the renowned Desire Street Ministries in New Orleans for 18 years, helping transform lives in blighted communities before Hurricane Katrina hit. We have crossfires. He met his wife and moved here to Jacksonville. Together, they run their own ministry out of their north side home. Here at Holy Smokes on Hendricks Avenue, Leverett reveals his passion for playing guitar with one of his own original songs. Peace like a river flows out to my dear He prays his business here can help him help others. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. And is grateful these men are helping fulfill his vision. I was, Leverett and his wife head up Rebirth Community Ministries, and they just acquired a three-acre piece of land they hope to use to expand their outreach in Moncrief. They currently minister to some urban young people in North Jacksonville, right where they live, right out of their home. And they're, they're looking forward to breaking ground eventually and building a gym, a rec center there, and a place where they can do Bible study, similar to Desire Street Ministries in New Orleans. Well, seeing how many people they got in, <laughs> it's like, well, we're going to need more room because more I people know. need to connect, whether it's by smoking a stogie or whatever it is. That's really well, cool. that's his business, yeah. but then this ministry thing, yeah, they want to take it out of their house and just, yeah. well, keep their house open. But yeah. isn't that cool? What yeah. an amazing Great idea trying to reach couple. other people in this community. The guys like it. <laughs>